Ladies and gentlemen, subscribers and everyone else in between, my name is Ruku and welcome back to my channel. And uh, today I'm going to India for one of the rarest and hardest bloody beers to get hold of. Um, it's in there with some of the rarest that, uh, to find, definitely. There are some places you can find this readily available, um, but, but it's going to cost you quite a bit of money. I got this fairly cheaply as it happens, so that's why I got it. What am I talking about? I'm talking about Cobra King. This comes in at 7.5% and uh, is a 750ml. So, it comes corked, nicely decorated with some elephants on there. If you can get that, that's supposed to be like two elephants leading each other, so like the mum or the dad and the little infant and that goes away round which is pretty cool. We complete with the wire meshing as per usual with most of these big bottled beers. Just says the words Cobra in black there with the I can't really see it. Maybe you can, I don't know, but yes yeah, there. Um right. Cobra King it says here that it's a double fermented beer. Uh it's incredibly smooth, etc. and comes in at seven point five percent. And has won two awards already. So we've got the. Oh, there we go. Come on, camera. There you go. So you've got the Monday selection, 2012 for Brussels. And selection international, Dele Quality Gold 4, 2012. So, as I always know from experience, just because it's won awards doesn't mean that it's going to be any good. Nine times out of ten, when they win awards, they're just buttering out for a load of shit. <laughs> um, right, I've had some problem pouring this beer, as you can see. But I would just like to point one thing out. Even though it's 7.5%, usually they're darker beers. Oh, look at that. That is crystal clear. Is that not crystal clear? Look at it. Carbonations away. Just so clean looking. Pale. It almost looks like a Pilsner. That's just incredible for a 7.5% beer. Amazing. Amazing stuff. Lacing is very, very good. Um, big, thick, foamy. Uh, the head, very good. Like so. I'm just going to go and pour a little bit more into this. So uh, I'm just going to put the f camera down just for two seconds while I just pour it quickly. I've got to do this very carefully. So there you go, I'm back. Um, done a bit more of a pour on that. There you go. Lovely. Are we getting that? Come on, camera. Come on. Focus. No, the camera's going to be shit, it's not going to focus, but there you go. There we there we go, see? A bit more there. Right, on with the smell, shall we? Mm, smell citrusy. Citrusy, slight bit of alcohol, lemon, fresh sort of malt, and just essence of freshness about it. So the smells are very, very good. I just want to have a little butcher's on the back here. Uh, there we go. It says here that it's brewed with barley, malt, and rice and hops. It is fermented once. So there you go. It's made with rice and it's fermented a few times. So, without further ado, let's do this. Oh my. 
We've got another dangerous beer on our hands, ladies and gentlemen. And I mean dangerous. This is too, too easy to drink. This is insane. This, this is not good. You could get pretty pissed on this quite quickly. Um, they've got it right. It is superbly smooth. That is so smooth. Carbonation in the mouth is virtually non-existent because it is so gentle. General little popping in the mouth. It runs down in the mouth so smooth. It goes down your throat like a... I don't know. Just too easy. The drink itself is, other than smooth and dangerous, it's, um, you, you pick up that little bit of rice in it, um, it almost reminds me of the start taste of Budweiser, where it's that sort of fresh, crisp rice taste. You kind of get that with a lot of sweetness into it, so it's a very sweet barley malt taste. And then you get the alcohol towards the end, and then the alcohol stays with you a little bit, and then it fades off towards the end, leaving you with even more sweetness at the end, with a tiny bit of maltiness. And the interesting thing is as well, is you get a little bit of a dry rice finish. <coughs> and there we go. As I always say, if I burp, it's a sign of a good beer. Um, and interestingly, as I was saying, you get this sort of rice finish on it, and the rice finish is very mellow, very gentle, very pleasant as well. It's not a sour rice, it's like a sweet rice. Seriously, I think I'm going to end up getting wrecked on this if I drink this any quicker. Um, worthy, definitely, of, of the two awards then. Absolutely. Totally worth it. Um, let me just top myself up. This is so good. I mean, this is hard to find, um, and when you do find this, as I say, it's extremely expensive. Um, I'm not too good with translation of um, currency, but I know here in England, to pick this up from certain places, you, you can pay between four pounds to about seven pound. I'm not sure what that is in dollars, yen, or anything else. <clears throat> or you know rupees or anything like that but it is extremely expensive oh, I picked this up then for about two and a half quid I think three quid so below a lot below the estimate um, it's a very nice beer the aftertaste is sweet um, nice reasonable alcohol hit not too strong insanely smooth I mean you really have to try this to believe what I'm saying if you can get this um, fucking hell you're going to have a whale of a time on this Absolutely. Normal Cobra is smooth anyway, and this has done the job. This to me gives best of both worlds, where you get a strong alcohol that just runs so smooth. It is just, it's like cause cause Light, but being mixed with Absinthe, that's what it's like. It's just great. It's just fantastic. So there you go, ladies and gentlemen. To quickly sum it up before my battery runs dead, um, you've got sweet tasting, um, aftertaste of sweet alcohol, um, a slight sweet rice taste, um, incredibly smooth, very, very super smooth, gentle carbonation <clears throat> that is virtually non existent. The head is just frothy, head is slight frothy with a slight bitterness. So, India, what would I give you for your Cobra King? There's only one word for it. Ten. Ten out of ten, definitely. I absolutely love it. If it weren't for being so smooth and the flavours, you probably wouldn't have scored ten. But, yep, it's a ten. So, there you go. It's been it's been wonderful having you guys viewing this. Uh, I want your comments, please. Don't forget to like, subscribe, all the usual shit. Um... And join me next time when I'll be reading some more beer. So, thank you for watching.